Hi guys, today we're going to be learning the Hausa Zara Cap Gilly style. I know many people like this style, it's so easy, but it takes your outfit from 0 to 100. So, I'm going to be using a belt today. I'm using this old belt, you can use a cardboard, you can use like um, a carton, anything that is hard that can give you the formation. You will see what I mean in just a minute. So I'm going to be starting the process of tying this air tie. This is popular with the Hausa people and it's usually called the Zara Gede, like or a cap, something that has like a kind of like formation at your forehead or something like that. So like I said, you can use a carton, you can use a cardboard, anything that is hard. I'm using this belt because of the hardness of the belt just to give me that formation that I need. If you don't put anything and you just want to tie that outside that way, it won't stay and it won't give you that hardness that you need at the front of the head tie or the gaby. So you can see what I've done. I just put it in the middle of my head tie and I'm just wrapping it around. I just wrap it around like three times and I'm getting ready to tie. So feel free, you can use any gilly of your choice. Most people use Ankara gilly. You can use any other fabric of your choice. But this fabric is not so hard. I would advise you to use like a hard fabric so that it just stays put like that. But this was for practical purposes. If I was really going out, I would have used another kind of fabric. And note that this head tie is long. The longer, the bigger, the better for you. You'll be able to maneuver it easily. Though it was a tough one for me to tie it at the end and all that. You can see how long it is and it has to be tight. But I still managed to like tie it very well. I would have actually like shortened it a bit. But at the end of the day, I was able to like tie it, which is fine for me. So I'm just tying it and I'm just trying to make another like not to tie it again because the ends are really long as you guys can see and i even tied it like in the rectangular way if i folded it diagonally it would have been really really long so that's why i tied it that way if you tie head tie normally you will know what to do just tie it once or twice and you're good it's so so easy and you can rock this with your native fabrics it goes well with ankara like i said you can rock it with anything of your choice if you rock this with your complete fabric or with your complete Ankara style, it will come out so, so lovely. This is trending now. People call it the Hausa Zara style. And the popular thing it is known for is that formation and front, as you guys can see. Sorry, my fabric is not giving. It's not making it show. I'm supposed to use another fabric that will really show the outline of that, like, um hard core that i added in front but i'll probably do another video to show you another step so that you can see how well it looks like i said people see this kind of gilly and they think that there's nothing there guys there's something in front use a cardboard use a carton use anything you can even fold the newspaper you can fold several newspapers just something that will give you that like hardness that core that you need in front and just feel free you can flip out your hair at the back I like it when they do this, like people tie it on their hair, they tie it on weaves, anything. It comes out really, really lovely. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. Don't forget to share and please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in other videos. Bye.